finally got my hands on a pair of Thursday boots. And of course, my first Thursday boot were not boots, they were lo loafers. Um, a couple weeks ago, they were doing a special sale to introduce their new dress shoe line. Because as their name suggests, Thursday boots, they specialize in boots. From trucker boots, to Chelsea boots, to all kind of boots. So it was gonna be a 24 hour sale. And what was really cool about that was they allowed you to choose your own price. So starting at $80 to 120 plus, you can choose whatever price range in that, right? So if you chose the $80 price range, the catch with that is that you couldn't return the shoes or exchange it. So if you're gonna choose that price range, you better pick your exact shoe size. Um, $81 to 120, they charge you $30 to exchange or return, 120 plus. Uh, it was free, free returns, free, free exchange. So their dress shoe line included Capital Oxfords, wingtips, hole cuts, derbies, and of course, the loafers. Wasn't too keen on the Oxfords, wasn't too happy about the, the, the derby. So I had my eyes on the hole cuts and the loafers. So I wanted to pick one that was more season appropriate. I'm sure if they had, they had done this sale at a different time, I would have gone with the hole cuts. So I chose the loafer since we're in the spring and we're about to enter the, the summertime. I think this is a very appropriate shoe for the season. So let's uh, let's talk about the shoe and um, the details of it and what makes this so special. Now let's start with the most obvious, which is the leather. Now this is a whole wing Chromexo leather made out of the whole wing leather factory in Chicago. This is the same factory that produces sporting goods such as footballs, basketballs, baseball gloves. So you know this leather can take a beating and last for a while. So that gives me confidence that um, there will be longevity with the shoe. I went with the natural vegetable tan as opposed to the dark brown or the black. I felt like the light brown would give me more versatility during the spring and summertime. Speaking of longevity, it comes with a good year well construction um, as opposed to the Blake stitch. A lot of style guys prefer the Goodyear well because they feel like that's of a higher quality. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of. I mean, each one has its pros and cons, but trust me, that's a, that's a whole nother video to differentiate between the Goodyear well construction and the Blake stitch. Uh, it has a genuine leather interior, a cork bed midsole, leather and rubber hybrid outsole which is cool and if you look at the outsole it has what seems to be like grips on them and that's their like their signature grips and it's on all of their shoes and it, it makes sense for those grips to be on their boots because when you wear their boots during the rain season or when it snows those grips right there would prevent the, the boots from sliding but uh, I don't know why they would put that on loafers because I definitely wouldn't be wearing my loafers when it's raining and definitely wouldn't be wearing it when it's snowing. But yeah, that's the shoe. It looks like it, it was, you know, made pretty well. And um, yeah, I love it. All right, so a couple things to consider when buying these shoes. I wouldn't necessarily call them drawbacks, but just c consider these things. If you're looking to um, walk for long periods of time or stand for long periods of time, I would suggest not to wear these because the interior has little to no padding in it. I wore these to my job and where I work at, I stand up for pretty much the whole day and my feet hurt. It's not a bad thing. I can actually buy those insoles that you can slip inside that are, that are kind of soft. So it's not really a bad thing. Um, another thing to consider is the crease. Now, I love crease. I think a crease puts character in a shoe. However, I prefer my crease to come up over time. These came up within minutes of wearing the shoe. So I was like, okay, I guess. Um, so yeah, those are the only two things that I would say, keep in mind if you're looking to get one of these. Um, they're currently out of stock, but I believe they are restocking and they're gonna sell them again next month, June. So if you're in the market for some affordable dress shoes, um, you know, look into Thursday boots. Um, I would say it's, it's pr pr pretty, pretty well, well made. Um, they do say go down half a size from your sneakers. So I am an 11 and a half in these. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a 12 sneaker. If I was gonna get their boots, I would go down 
one more half a size. So I gotta like my boots a little bit snug. Besides, leather expands. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Um, I like the shoe. Um, I don't have a lot of problems with it other than those two two things that I, I mentioned. But yeah, I, will that prevent me from buying another Thursday boot? No, I actually wanna buy their boots and see what the hype is all about. Well, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, until next week, uh, stay fly and stay fit.